Hello, my name is Ben Beckwith and this is my fly of the month. Hopefully it will help you catch a few more fish in the coming weeks. So the fly I'll be tying today is a minky booby and it's an exceptional pattern for early season reservoir fishing. The materials I'll be using for this pattern are brown mink zonka strips, gold, silver and UV straggle frits in standard length GSP thread for extra strength of thread and of course coat it all in super glue when we are finished. The hook in the vise is a standard wet fly hook in a size 8 and I'll just start the thread on the fly in touching turns wrapping back to the barb of the hook. Snip off your waist piece. Now for the wing and the tail you'll be using your brown mink strip. What you want to do is to prepare it is make a small trim on the end of the, of the zonka strip just to create a small point and this will make it look slightly more natural. Now for the length of the tail you want about double the length of the shank so if you measure it up and then to separate the fibres just moisten it and it will nicely separate there and you can tie it in on separation. So two soft turns, pull it down with the GSP it's very strong so it will pull down nicely and keep it nice and tight to the shank. A couple of turns in front and then again back over the back just to secure it. And that's tied in nicely. For the body, gold, silver and UV straggle from Vineyard in the standard size so it's nice and long, there's plenty of movement and plenty of flash. Just tie this in, put it on the side closest to you, just come over and tie it in nice and tightly all the way down to the back where the zonka strip started and then he's going to wrap back up to about four or five mil behind the eye of the hook. You're going to do touching turns with the body to make sure you get good coverage and plenty of movement from this body and it'll look fab in the water. So just keep wrapping it up, touching turns, each time you turn drag it back so you don't trap any fibres and it just means you get a better shape of the body. To tie it off, put it up 90 degrees, come behind it one, two, three times just to lock it in. Pull everything back so you don't trap any fibres and do a few turns in front to secure. Then what we're going to do is rather than cutting it, we're just going to push like that. And that would just mean that you cut off less fibres and keep it. So, to put the whip, pull the wing over, it's going to gently separate the fibres down the side so you make sure you don't get any caught in the top. You're going to bring the wing over, pull all your fur back, nice and tight so you get plenty on there. Pinch and loop to secure and then tie it down nice and tight. And again, it's going to snip his zonka strip and tie down nice and securely all the way down so it's nice and tight. You can see you've got a lovely shape of that body there, a nice bit of flash too. So when you've tidied up the head you're going to get your booby cord and you just want to trim it nice and gently around the edge so you create a nice rounded uh, booby eye which will stop the fly from spinning when you fish it. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it in the middle of the thread here and it's going to wrap over it so it's very tight in. This should create two evenly shaped and sized booby eyes. Just keep doing it until you're happy that they're both exactly the same size. You may not get it first time, but that's fine. Once you're satisfied, you're just going to gently wrap over the head area until the eyes come to the hook shank. Then figure of eight in between the eyes and around the hook, just to secure them in nice and tight. Again, don't pull down too tight because this thread may cut the eyes in half. When you're happy that they are secured, simply do a whip finish around the eye of the hook. Pull tight and gently snip your thread underneath. Then to secure it all, a few dabs of zapper gap. What you want to do with the zapper gap is you want to do a generous dab in between the eyes here. This will just secure the eyes to the shank on the top 
and then of course underneath. But when you do do it underneath, just pull all the straggle fibers back so that you don't glue any of them to the front of the eye. And there is your January minky booby. Best fish on a reservoir on high dye lines, nice and deep and slow. As you can see, got a fantastic profile and looks great in the water. Happy fishing in tight lines. Thank you.